side with well, today. So you need some paper. I have two pieces because I want to make a handle, some white glue, and a pencil. Now, you have to get a pencil that's round, like this one, not a regular pencil that has the flat sides. It has to be completely round, so make sure you have a completely round pencil. We're going to take a piece of paper. We're going to fold it in half hamburger style. So there's my piece of paper. This makes it a little more stiff and I don't need the whole thing. And then I'm gonna wrap it around my pencil. So here's my pencil, my round pencil too. And I'm gonna wrap it. perfect but I want to make sure that my pencil will move in and out of the paper and then I'm just gonna put some glue right here you could put tape but I'm gonna use some glue maybe I'm gonna use some tape Glue didn't work, so I don't want to hold it all day, so I'm definitely going to use some tape. All right, there it is. And now I'm just going to put a little, I'm going to cut a piece of paper right here and fold it over and put it right here as a handle. A little rectangle, fold it in half, and it's just gonna go right there on the end of the pencil. I think I'll tape it on too. You can glue it, but I think I'll tape it. Okay, there's my handle, and then if you ever seen the flute get played, you blow across it, or like on a, on a bottle, you blow across to make the noise instead of into it. So I'm gonna put it right here below my lip. I wanna take a deep breath, and I'm gonna blow across. It's not like a classic musical instrument. You can't hear this beautiful noise. If I pull the pencil down, I can hear that the note is starting to get lower. And if I push the pencil up, the note gets higher. So again, it's really hard to hear. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but you'll be able to hear the difference of it if you make it yourself and go ahead and try it. Okay, so moving the pencil upward makes the space inside the tube smaller and produces a higher pitched note. Moving the pencil down creates a longer space or larger space producing a lower note. The science of sound is called acoustics. Blowing across the pipe makes the air inside vibrate. The faster the air vibrates, the higher the notes. The vibrations reach our ears and we hear them as sounds. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you next week.